I say I really wanted to register in y'all rappers head because y'all really thought it was over. And I know when I was locked up, y'all prayed every night like, God, please, God, please don't let him come home and be lit again. God, please, every time I open the gram, all I see is him. Y'all wasting prayers, homie. It seems like 6 9 is not only back in the game, but he is on top once again. He has been breaking records and he has been the new talk of social media. But with that being said, he has been making some very, very bad mistakes way too quickly. And not just in the trolling, but also with the blowing of millions of dollars. In this video, we will go deep inside of what 6 9 has spent his money on, where he got the money to blow all of that, and why it is going to turn around and be one of his biggest mistakes so far. So stay tuned, you will not want to miss what we have to show you in this video. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video. If you hate 6 9 I usually say if you are a fan, but we already know that he has more enemies than fans, so if you don't like 6 9 leave a like instead. Also, if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 11, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck. Now, most people thought that after 6 9 snitched in court, his career would officially be over because he would have no support. But unfortunately, as you all have seen, snitching might have made his career stronger than ever. Because since being released, 6 9 has broken multiple records. His first Instagram Live video has over 2 million viewers at one time, which beat the last record of 300,000 held by Tory Lanez and Drake by over 1.7 million viewers. That is absolutely insane. And then, to add to that, after he released his new music video for Gooba, he broke the YouTube record for biggest 24-hour debut in hip-hop, meaning that he had the most watched hip-hop video in its first 24 hours on all of YouTube. I think it's safe to say that 6 ix career is not over, but it's stronger than ever. This all does come with a huge price considering that he is one of the most hated people on the planet, as well as he will never truly be safe and will always have to look over his shoulder probably for the rest of his life, but 6 9 does seem to be okay with the cost of all of that. The problem for 6 9 is that he is doing too much too quickly and it might be getting him in trouble. He has only been free for about 2 months and has made so many stupid mistakes. One of these mistakes was blowing millions of dollars on cars and luxury items as soon as he was released. This spending includes a fleet of luxury cars including a Lamborghini Aventador, a McLaren, a Rolls Royce, a G-Wagon, and a new Range Rover. Then to add to that, he also purchased four timepieces including a Richard Milley and also a new shark chain that was valued at $300,000. Even for a poppin' rapper, that is a lot of money just to come out of prison and blow on just luxury items. Many people think that he can easily afford all of it, so it's not a big deal, but that statement is only half true. During his lockup, he did sign a new record deal worth over $10 million and was given millions of that in advance, which we can all pretty much assume that he used his advance to pay for all of this, but in my opinion, it's just a dumb thing to do regardless of what you think you can make in the future or how much you have now. The cards are the dumbest purchase by far because keep in mind that 6 9 is not officially free. He is still serving his sentence, he's just serving it at home instead of an actual prison. And while he is still allowed to shoot music videos and use social media, he is still on very strict restrictions. This means that he cannot leave his house except for specific reasons. So why would you blow all of that money on cars that you can't even drive? The only thing I could think of would be is if he has plans for a music video, but even in that case, renting cars would be a lot smarter because not only does his fleet of cars cost a ridiculous amount of money, but they also put him in so much more danger. They are very colorful cars and they are very expensive. So if someone sees them just parked at a house, they know who's living there instantly. This has already happened once and he had to be relocated because of it. So regardless of how much money he's worth, those cars were a very dumb investment. I think for 6 9 that he is thinking that he is going to continue to make money and break records so all of this is not a big deal. He also is making a lot of money from the views that Gooba got. Plus there have also been updates that venues in Australia, Europe, South America are already offering him $500,000 to perform in 20 and in 2021. So clearly he does have money coming in from all over the place, which in his mind is probably why dropping all of that money is not a big deal. But now he is about to realize how big of a mistake that could turn out to be. Recent updates have shown that 6 9 may have violated his parole by some of his trolling on social media. Everything he's doing is being watched and he has not been low key at all, which is not only dumb but might officially be catching up with him. If he gets in trouble for trolling, not only will he get sent back to prison, but his sentence will get increased with new charges added on. 
This will not only put a hold on his album contract, which could cause problems with that, especially since he has been paid so much already in advance, but this will also result in more money being spent towards lawyers, fees, court fees, all of that. If that is the case, the money he just splurged would be a lot more helpful in his bank account than sitting in luxury items that so far have just gotten him in trouble. Plus there is also the fact that 6 9 has no cosigns in music and there are so many venues that will never book him as well as radio stations, other public gigs that could have made him money will no longer want anything to do with him which is a big loss of income that he could have potentially had if not for how much of a risk he is. 6 9 may be on top of the game once again and his numbers may be higher than ever, but with how much drama and liability there is on him, eventually this could end up being a huge problem for not only his career, but his income as well. To me, it's surprising that he even got the record deal he did, but like I said, the more he involves himself in and the more drama he surrounds himself with, it's only gonna be worse for him in the end and it's gonna eventually have no one, no company, or no person wanting their name associated with his at all. And that could be a huge turning point in his career and the start to the end of 6 9 Right now, there is no telling what the future holds for 6 9 but he is going to have to make a lot smarter decisions if he wants to be in this for the long run because right now, it could be the end of 6 9 at any moment and he is not trying to hide at all. He is going public. He is trolling. He is blowing his money. In my opinion, this could be the end of 6 9 at any time and it could catch up with him very quickly and we will have to wait and see how things unfold, but for now, we will just sit back and enjoy the show because we do have some entertainment with 6 9 back, so we might as well just enjoy it until we see how things unfold. With that being said, I am going to end the video here. I do want to know where you stand with this whole situation. Are there any 6 9 fans left or do you all hate him completely? I'm very curious to see how many people still support him. So if you are still a 6 9 fan, then say it loud and proud down in the comments below. Don't hide it. I do want to know if you're still out there. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Mixed Ice Media. See you in the next one.